Hey everyone, it's Jess. So today I'm going to be talking about my 27 week pregnancy update. I can't believe I'm almost in the third trimester. I don't know if you're pregnant around the same time. Like, has it been gone by really fast? I feel like it goes by so fast and as you hit like the point where you find out the gender of the baby, things just seem to fly by. So I'm really excited. I'm not so excited about the more weight I've gained. I've gained another two pounds, so I believe that is a 26 pound weight gain and a total of, I'm now at 159 pounds. So, I feel like it's a lot. I am starting to see where some of that fat is going. Definitely my thighs and a bit of a muffin top has started to form. So, I'm not loving it but I'm still eating pretty well and exercising so I'm not too concerned. It is what it is but that's something that has happened. <laughs> I have not bought any baby buys and I still have no new stretch marks so thank god because I don't mind stretch marks but they are something I can live without so the less the better, right? Sleep has been uh, kind of up and down. Some nights it's, are so rough. I just cannot get comfortable. I want to cry. It's just it's just the worst when you're so tired but you just cannot seem to get comfy and fall asleep. So that's been difficult. But then I have some other nights where it's not too bad and I just get up to go pee and I'm able to fall asleep relatively quickly and sleep decently. So it really does depend. I have not bought any baby buys this week, but I have bought a couple of things for myself that I think you guys would be interested in too if you are pregnant as well. So I'm going to quickly share them with you. The first thing is nothing's fitting my hips. Like, oh my gosh. It's like the booty and hips. Like nothing is fitting for bathing suits. So I am going to the beach this weekend, so I did need something. So I went to Old Navy. And these look so huge, but like they really are. <laughs> They're extra large. And my bikini top fits fine, but I just had like, oops, that's gross. Sorry about that. <laughs> so my bikini bottom fits fine, but like nothing else does. So I picked these up. These are extra large. Like they're made for these hips. And that's another thing. Like, because I have that little bit of a muffin top. I don't want anything tight. I want it to like sit nicely and I find this really does and it goes up above my belly a bit but it's not uncomfortable. And this was regular $25 and it's on sale for $5. So if you need a bikini, you need to get to Old Navy or like order line or whatever because this is such a steal especially if you're like me and probably going to wear like once or twice because you're not going to go to like the beach that much because like let's face it, it's too hot when you're super pregnant. So that's why I think I'm only going to go once this year so I just wanted something I could get and like maybe wash good and donate or something. I'm not sure. So that was one of the things. And then another thing is where I live, it is so hot right now. So, so hot. It's like 30 degrees Celsius like every freaking day. No one humid. It's rough. But it can get a bit cool. And I am going to be going up to my family's cottage next month. And it could be pretty chilly at night. So I wanted a jacket. So I went to Sires and I got this really cute one. I'll insert like a picture or a video of it, but it's made out of this really soft material and it just trenches up and it's lightweight. The only thing I'll say are the arms are huge on this, so if you do order it, be aware of that. This is in a size medium, so I find it does run a bit large and yeah, really soft. I will do a bump video at the end so you can see how big I am for size reference, but it is so soft and I think it's going to be perfect for this weather even after I have the baby like I'm probably not going to wear a tight jacket <laughs> I'm probably going to want to loosen that baby leg first and then wear tighter stuff so this is going to be great for that So this week I have noticed that he is starting to move a bit less. I wouldn't say like a lot less, nothing concerning or anything, but just a bit less because he's definitely running out of room. So I feel like he does kick, but it's usually not as crazy as it was. And I also heard that, well read that at this time they're more in control of their movements. So I think that's playing a big part, but it's been nice because I've been sleeping a lot better. Like he can still get pretty hyper at night, but it's not as bad as it was. 
my symptoms for the past week have been about the same nothing crazy i'll just list them so tired can't really sleep through the night heartburn congestion shortness of breath frequent urination and i have had a little bit of nausea but nothing severe where i think i need to go on medication or anything it hasn't been the best but it's been very tolerable and i definitely don't feel like i'm gonna throw up just feel rough you know and yeah that is everything i have to update so i'm gonna do a little bump video at the end but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up so i know you want to see more videos like this and be sure to subscribe and check out my other channel it is called glam mama it's all about beauty fashion and luxury and i do have an instagram it's two point life and i kind of post outfits of the days i've been slacking on that so i do need to get better at that but make sure you check those out if you're interested and I hope you all are doing great. And if you're pregnant too, let me know how it's going and what are some big advice and stuff you've picked up for yourself recently. I love to find out about new things that are out there. And yeah, I hope you all are doing great. So